Yeah, yeah. I've got. Uh, there's a bit of sport in my family. Uh, my grandfather on my dad's side was New Zealand Athletics representative. I think he was long jump. Um, and my grandfather on my mum's side was uh, a New Zealand rower. I think he was the youngest ever uh, New Zealand rower at the time. Um, he's probably been overtaken now by someone. Um, and my dad played rugby uh, at Auckland, sort of represented a little for a while until sort of other things took his attention. Oh, I feel sorry for my parents actually, uh, having to drive me around to, to all the different sports. I think there were sort of seven or eight there at one point <laughs> that uh, were taking everyone's time up. Um, but then sort of halfway through secondary school I decided that cricket was probably the thing I was, well the only one I was that good at. Um, and sort of decided to focus on that from then on. I remember a game, I must have been six or seven, playing uh, somewhere out on the North Shore, I think, and the grass was so long that we lost the ball um, with a few of the younger guys at Pano Career Club. Um, but not really that many early memories, probably more memories of having fights with, with my mates. Uh, I think one day cricket's probably the format I'm most suited to. I think that's where I can go out and just play my natural game without um, sort of censoring a little bit, I think. 2020 cricket's good, it's a lot of fun, um, but it's not really, you sort of have to go out of your way to be more aggressive than you would like to sometimes. Um, and then four day cricket's obviously the biggest challenge, I think that's probably the purest form um, when your sort of decision making is most exposed, whether it's good or bad. Like for me personally, it's probably different for most people, but I think one day cricket, I, especially with the bat, I can just go out and play, and that's sort of my natural tempo works fine there. I think four day cricket, you have to sometimes according to the situation, sort of temper back a little bit and maybe go back into your shell and, and then obviously 2020 cricket there are times when you're probably playing shots that you're probably thinking you shouldn't be but the situation dictates that you have to. So I think for adaptability I think all three forms is a great challenge but I think one day cricket's probably my, my natural game. Uh, pull shot I think. There's not much better than uh, when a fast follower comes in and tries to assert his authority on you and you just dong them over the rope over square legs, so yeah, definitely my favourite. Uh, I think at the death of a one day or 2020 game, when uh, the guy's going hell for leather and you have to get a good Yorker in there, maybe wide hole or straight hole and you get it right, and that's probably one of the better, better feelings. Uh, it was definitely a positive experience for me, I think it was challenging at times um, without being overwhelming, I think um, there are a few technical pointers that I got that I wouldn't have picked up if I'd just been playing domestic cricket, I think you can get away with things in first class cricket that you can't get away with up there. Um, so it's been good for me obviously with another tour coming up to England um, in a couple of months to have a bit of time in domestic cricket to sort of work on those, those technical aspects and hopefully fix a couple of them and then obviously hopefully be back in the frame um, for that tour coming up.